Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today is my hair washing day and I'm gonna be oiling my hair and my scalp. So I decided to just film a little video and show you step by step how I oil my hair, what products I use and all that good stuff. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. There are so many benefits to oiling your hair. It's really great for conditioning your hair. It makes your hair more shiny and more manageable. It's really good for stimulating circulation to the scalp, which is going to help with hair growth and promoting new hair growth. And you know, you can use different oils and different herbs infused in the oils to help, you know, stimulate hair growth. And it's just really relaxing to do because you know, you just give yourself a nice scalp massage and it's just very pampering. And if you're wondering what oils I like to use in my hair, there are so many different oils you can choose from. You can use argon oil, that's one of my favorites. Jojoba oil, that's really good if you have thinner hair because it's actually a wax and it's a lot lighter, but I also like to use it on my hair. Um, olive oil, coconut oil, avocado oil, sweet almond oil. You can do something like a Jamaican black castor oil. This is really great for um, promoting hair growth. So if you have thinning hair or a lot of hair fall, Jamaican black castor oil or castor oil is really great. Just look for something that's hexane free and it is a bit thicker. It's a thick oil. So you want to mix it with other oils. You can just add a little bit into your other oils, but my all time favorite oil to use when oiling my scalp and hair is the blue beautify organic amalaki scalp oil serum. I have been using this for so long and it is my holy grail scalp oil. So this is more on the pricey side, but it's jam packed with herbs and oils that are really, really great for the health of your hair and scalp. So it has lots of Ayurvedic herbs like amalaki, which is amla fruit, uh, brahmi, photai. It has essential oils like rosemary and lavender to help with hair growth. And yeah, it smells so amazing. It's all organic. It is my favorite. And I do have a coupon code for all of Blue Beautifly's website. It's Holistic Habits 15. So that can save you a bit of money, but I highly, highly recommend this. But if you like to do it more of a do it yourself, you can also infuse your oils with different herbs. I have a couple videos for do it yourself hair oils, and I'm planning on making a lot more in the future. So let's get started with oiling my hair. Okay, so first I start by just brushing my hair out and this distributes my hair's natural oils from my scalp to the ends. And I'm using a wooden brush because that's really, really great for distributing your hair's natural oils. And I'm actually having a terrible hair day today. I don't know if you can notice, but um, I have lots of conditioner residue in my hair. I somehow didn't rinse it out enough the other day so my hair is just feeling really limp that's why i'm cleaning it today so i'm gonna take my blue beautifly amalaki scalp oil serum and it has a nice little dropper like that and i just use this all over my scalp and put a little bit in my ends but i mainly focus this on my scalp since it's you know expensive and then i use another oil like argon oil in my ends so i just take the dropper and i just apply it straight onto my scalp using the dropper and the dropper just helps me get directly onto the scalp and i received a comment from someone once um, and they were like oh it's disgusting that you use the dropper directly on your scalp but you know what i'm the only one using this so to me it just it doesn't really matter i've never had an issue with it i like to put on maybe four to five squirts in my ends i'm just going to be putting on some argon oil take some pumps of that and just run it through the ends of my hair. My hair is getting so long, you guys. It's past my butt. 
and might take a couple more pumps. Just go like that. Get my hair nice and saturated. And if you have a problem with washing oil out of your hair, you can use less. I'm kind of saturating my hair today, but sometimes I'll just do a really light oiling and that makes it easier to wash out. But as you can see, I'm just kind of massaging my scalp with my fingertips. This helps bring the circulation to the scalp and strengthen the hair follicles. And I do have this little device. This is the Brio Scalp Massager. It's an electronic scalp massager. And you can just massage your scalp with this. It feels so nice. And you can flip your hair over if you want and do kind of the inversion hair method if you want to do that. I have a whole, I have a whole video on doing the inversion hair method for hair growth. So you can check that out to see my results. But yeah, you can go like this. I just take my time and work the oil into my scalp, distribute it all along my hair. And my ends just usually suck the oil up right away, so I always add a little bit more in the ends. And the ends tend to be drier because your scalp, you know, it produces those um, natural hair oils, but when your hair is super long, sometimes those oils don't distribute to the ends of your hair. So your ends tend to get drier a lot easier. And then I have a designated little wooden brush that I use just to brush my hair with the oil in it. Some people say don't brush your hair with oil in it, but this just helps distribute it all throughout my hair. And as you probably noticed, I use the oil straight from the jar, but you can warm your oils up. So you can do that by just putting your oil in a double boiler and getting it a little bit warmed up and that's going to help it penetrate even deeper. But the reason I didn't do that is because I do have this hot heads little thermal hair cap. It just has flax seeds in it and you just warm it up in the microwave and then you put this over your head after you have your oil on and then that'll just keep your hair nice and warm let those oils penetrate even deeper and another thing you can do is if you have a sauna or a steam room you can just go into the sauna or the steam room and let that oil penetrate even deeper and then once my hair is saturated in the oil, I just put it in a little twisted bun and secure it with a claw clip. You can also put your hair in a braid. And I leave this on a minimum of 30 minutes. I usually will leave it on for a couple of hours and just do some housework or else I will sleep with it overnight if I want a super deep conditioning um, treatment. And when I do sleep with the oil in my hair, I like to wear a cap like this to bed. And this one is perfect for me. It took me a while to find one that was big enough to fit all my long hair in. So this cap is perfect for me. I can link it down below. And it's not made of silk or anything, so I don't have to worry about it getting ruined from the oil. I can just wash it in the washing machine and it's really easy. So I'll usually just leave my hair down and place it in this cap or put it in a braid 
weight and place it in this cap and just sleep like that or else you can also use a designated pillowcase something that you don't mind getting ruined with oil potentially and just have that for nights when you want to sleep with oil in your hair so lately that's what i've been doing just sleeping with the oil in my hair overnight and then the next morning i wake up and wash it out and if you're wondering how i wash the oil out i just use my regular kalia shampoo and conditioner as you might know i do like making the do-it-yourself ayurvedic herbal shampoo which i have a video on but i don't use that to wash the oil out of my hair because i find it's a bit too gentle so i just use Kalia shampoo and conditioner and then I just let my hair air dry after to really give it a break and help it be as healthy as possible and I try to oil my hair at least once or twice a week so yeah that is pretty much my hair oiling routine I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something you can follow me on Instagram at holistic habits if you haven't already I try to be active on there every single day and I've been posting lots of cool hair photos and hair videos on there but yeah I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video bye